So here's the tool I've been waiting for for the longest of times. Um, it's the move tool. Um, if you have a look at your support hand, thumbstick forward, you've got your tool palette and there's move and it gives us on the uh, on the dominant tool hand you've got here, you've got the tool and it's thumbstick up and down for size and you can see that inner circle there. So if you tap on the um, gear, green gear icon, you've got the move options. So we've got size that you're doing with your thumb and there's your inner radius. And that's crucial for whether you want to grab an area and have a smooth fall off or grab an area with a, um, a more sharp fall off, which I'll show you as I'm, as I'm using it. So we'll just go all the way off for the moment just to, to show you. And then obviously strength of the, the amount of move. So we'll leave that high for now. And this one's great. So this is active layers only. So do you want to use, move everything or do you want to use um, just one layer? So I'll click off there and we'll bring the size back down. And I'll just use it and show you. Um, so there you go and that's just moving all layers in one go you can see everything there is moving so I'll just undo that um, obviously uh, resolution because it's a voxel based program um, and the amount of data that you, that you could be moving around if you make this brush huge and your models multiple resolutions then you're gonna see a little bit of a slowdown but that's uh, depending on your machine um, and depending on the, the amount of resolution you put in. So as with everything, um, with, with modeling, do as much as we can, as low as possible. So let's just move this around. And again, you can see I'm moving all layers um, in one. So you probably wouldn't want to do that around this hand here. So what do we do? Go back to tool options, uh, go back to the gear options, and we'll just do active layer only. Make sure we've got the body active. And actually there's a good point when you click that now you get this option so you've got transforms here which we'll do in another video and you've got access to the gear from there as well so that's giving you your material options which we don't want to mess with now so let's just keep focused on what we're looking at so we've got everything set and it's active only so we'll just do the hand this time and as you can see there now that's amazing for moving things like let's just switch to the nails and we can locate those nails with the move tool so that's all well and good so one thing you might not have noticed not only have you got the move but if you click it so you're using your, 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 your front trigger big big brush size and look at that you've got rotate as well so I'll go extreme for you to show you so it's like liquid it's amazing and that's fantastic for posing so if I want to arc something around let's just say we want to um, well, let's go back to active all, all layers if we want to arc this head forward a bit there we go now you saw there a bit of the you saw medium waiting a little while there and that's because this is obviously quite high res. Let's get some volume back in that chest there. And there you go. So that is a, literally what the move tool is. Now I'll just show you what I, what I was um, the other option that I was saying with in, um, no, sorry not in there, in the in the option for the tool we had the inner radius so watch if I go just 50% on the inner radius and pull off say let's find somewhere quite flat in fact yeah we'll do the rocks instead so we'll go on there with 50% radius and you do a pull and you can see the fall off between the air, here and here is, is a lot sharper and if we go even higher we go all the way you're gonna get that so is that useful or is that a pain? Well, no, it's very, very useful because you can now do this, which for making um, quick changes to a model, um, let's just make that into a column, for example. There you go. So you can get volume quite quickly. It's uh, it's quite it's quite amazing what you can do with it really it's um for for character modeling you're going you're going to want to stick with your inner radius um middle to low if if not low altogether um and 
that's what you go back to. But that's giving you that ability. Watch out for errors like that there where I pulled stuff out. Um, might be a graphical error actually because of the recording. Um, and that's the essence of Move Tool. Now I can't ignore the fact that this thing here is in the scene. So I've just gone over to have a look at references and seeing what we've got here. Well, that's something that was requested um, that I absolutely love, which is we'll just forward click and go to our paint. Colour picker, boom, and let's go and paint this leg. So back to layer. And there we go. So you can bring your palettes in. And that's absolutely lovely. So I'll be bringing all my Copic palettes in um, as soon as I... Uh, there's a lot There's a lot in, in there by default, but you can bring them in um, in the normal way with references, so through the import function. So if you go to references there, there's lots already in this one. Um, these are these aren't standard here, but these these all come with it. So that's the move tool. So that's the, one of the first things you're going to want to have a go at, and then we can have a look at uh, things like the transform, um, which I showed you a, a little bit of and didn't really explore. But that transforms equally as as amazing um, for the update. But this this is the one that you're you're going to want to go and dive into straight away. So go and have some fun.